Hey, what's up guys? So I'm playing one of my favorite games here and I just wanted to talk about open source versus proprietary or closed source projects. And I figured, you know what, I'll play this and discuss it and show some examples and whatnot. So if you've never seen this before, it's Kerbal Space Program. You build your own rocket out of different parts. So you have like your pods, that you could choose from. I just chose a little simple one, but there's some pretty cool ones here. And uh, decouplers, so you know when your ship um, uses a stage of fuel, it separates and carries on and whatnot. You've got everything, engines and parachutes and whatnot. So I throw on a parachute because, of course, we want to come back. So the whole point of the video really is. Um, open source and what a lot of people don't understand makes it more secure and makes it more um, beneficial to have more eyes on the project because you could do any project by yourself or with a small team if you want but how confident are you that that team of yours is a hundred percent knowledgeable and they know exactly what they're doing because you look at like Microsoft or Oracle or whatever yeah it's it's rare for you know some huge disastrous bug to rear its head or or whatever but it does happen and it's not necessarily anyone's fault because there are a lot of smart people out there who will figure things out they will hack their way, they will decompile code, they'll do all kinds of stuff. Um, and they really know what they're doing. Again, not saying that the closed source or proprietary um, people don't know what they're doing. It's just more sets of eyes on what's going on. So a lot of people don't understand, well, how can security... Uh, what do I want? Power. How can security, if it's all open source, be more secure? Because everyone can see the source code. Well, the reason for that is that more people can spot a mistake. So just because you know what the source code is, doesn't mean that it's hackable. There's a lot of encryptions. There's a lot of things that will prevent you from hacking something or breaking something or, you know, um, going around security measures even though you can see the source code and actually you could probably look at the source code and be like oh wow every, you know there are no holes everything's been covered but when it's a closed source project or application the people are going to dismantle it you know the hackers they're going to dismantle it they're going to uh, find the holes that the people who designed it probably didn't see and the smaller the group, the more chances are that someone didn't spot a hole. And of course, like a small little project isn't a big deal. But when you have a huge project, thousands of lines of code, and the project, like an operating system, for example, just saying <clears throat> Windows. So when it gets broken down into tons of little pieces and they're all over the place, it can be a little daunting to put it all back together and make sure that everything works as it should. Um, but with open source, anyone can see anything. Every little piece is out there for you to see. So there's no, there's nothing being hidden. If you have like a Git project or something where people can actually fork it and contribute to it, then that's even better because then Everything is out there for everyone to see, even the fixes. So if someone's contributing to the project, they're not going to be able to put in a backdoor or put in a hack because, well, everyone can see that too. Basically, your, your closed source project is, you know, have your team look at it, hope that everything's good to go, and then launch your product and hope for the best. Maybe it'll take off. Um, see if I can get this sucker into orbit here. Closed source, you put your stuff out there, and then you find the bugs, right? You 
end up with reports of people hacking and there are some people who will dismantle the source code and then find the vulnerabilities and whatnot. Is that a good way of doing it? Well, I don't know, because then by then there's already been vulnerabilities out there and well, I'm going really, really fast here. There's already vulnerabilities out there in the open and people's systems have already been compromised and most importantly, people's data. Open source has all kinds of benefits. One, it's free most of the time. What is the thing? Free is in freedom, not free beer, something like that. The cool thing is that you have all the nerds of the world, nerds and geeks of the world. Yes, I'm talking to all you programmers out there who not going to say, you know, not going to say anything about anybody in particular, but you're really good at programming. You're really good at computers. Maybe you couldn't afford to get the education, right? Maybe you couldn't afford to go work at Google or Microsoft because you just couldn't get the qualifications required. That doesn't mean you don't know what you're doing. I mean, you have little kids out there in the world who are hacking all kinds of things and coming out with all these awesome programs and encryption stuff or whatever. These are little kids with obviously no college or university education and they're coming up with some awesome stuff, but are they going to get that job at Microsoft? Probably not. Are they going to be able to contribute to an open source project? Yeah. Um, let's see here. I'm almost out of fuel. What am I at? Oh, I'm, I'm quite high. All right, that's okay. I'm almost out of fuel here. So yeah, they're going to be, be able to contribute to these open source projects. And when you have a bunch of these people, then they're going to spot mistakes. So I'm out. So stage two. And what happened? I don't have an engine. Why? Because it's in there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And yes, I did do this on purpose. <laughs> if anyone was paying attention, let me go back. This was uh, kind of on purpose just to show you. If anybody does play this, they were probably screaming at their screen saying, no, I put the decoupler in between the fuel tank and the engine when I put it back together. So if you were paying attention and it helps if you know how the game works or if you get an idea, you would have been screaming at your screen going, no, it's not going to work. Don't launch, right? Open source. If I had a couple of buddies here and we were talking, we were working on this thing, maybe they wouldn't have noticed it either. I put this video on YouTube with however many, uh, okay, I don't have a huge channel, but with however many people, hundreds, maybe, maybe a couple thousand people are gonna watch this, who knows, watching this, and there might be dozens or hundreds of people who are going, no, don't launch it, you put that back together wrong, right? Open source. So if I'm running my company and everything is closed source, then really it's up to just my team and me and bosses to be able to catch things like that. And so I'm wondering if you guys were paying attention, how many people noticed that I put it back together improperly? You don't have to know how the, the game works. I mean, I showed you this is a decoupler and whatever, right? Uh, how many of you noticed and how many of you didn't notice? Let me know in the comments because I'm really interested because this kind of further proves the uh, open source, closed source thing. And now I'm not going to wait till I get all the way up to orbit, but now you can see that I have my other engine and I'm going to flip out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So let's just call it a day and <laughs> abandon ship. So... And then another point here, right? If I would have launched and I would have made it to orbit, everything would have been awesome and I would have forgot the parachute. Well, that would have sucked too. So you guys could have been yelling at me about, oh, don't launch, you forgot the parachute. Anyways, this is a Kerbal Space Program. I love this game. I have thousands of hours in it. I haven't played it in a while, but anyways, I was loading it up and I was like, you know what, I'm going to use this as a little example of open source, closed source stuff. And there you have it. So security wise, features wise, 
fixes wise and bugs and all that open source is definitely huge huge advantage over proprietary and closed source stuff and i'm i'm hoping that more and more things become open source but that's that's my take on open source anyways i thought i'd give this as a cool little example and now we're landing safely in the water and everybody's happy yay open source is awesome there we go if you guys haven't played this play it it's pretty pretty awesome all right well that was it a uh, little example without you know, droning on too much about a million billion reasons why open source is better i thought this would be a cool way to show you why it's better and again let me know in the description if you spotted that I did it wrong or not. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And I'd like to thank my Patreon patrons, Carlos Arknos, Carl George, Matt Kit says, and Reagan. Thank you guys so much for contributing. And head on over to patreon.com slash dorian.slash. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, bash on.